What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video, you guys. Y'all know we got a lot of stuff to talk about, okay? Um, Is it really the palace or the whole house, baby? Because, listen, Scrappy has been doing all of this. First of all, we're going to kind of you know skip down memory lane and we're gonna get into the latest of what's been going on with scrappy mama d in the palace okay now so y'all let's get into some things because i have some audio to play you guys but before we get into that audio let's speak on scrappy okay because this cheating stuff didn't start with bambi okay let's make it clear and you know it dang sure not going to be the end with bambi as well because you know scrappy in my humble opinion is playing victim um scrappy has cheated on a lot of these women as a matter of fact all these women okay you may as well say he cheated in every relationship that he has been in allegedly now y'all already know we're gonna get into it with shay um you know it's it's been a fiasco with shay it's just been a lot of dirty stuff that scrappy has going on okay and i'm not trying to make and paint him out as the bad guy okay uh the bad guy okay um, because in my humble opinion, okay, um, Scrappy is going through a lot, but so is Bam as well. And Bam even admitted to a lot of the things that she possibly did to, you know what I'm saying, contribute to their divorce. So it's not like Bam is just up here and out here saying, hey, you know, it's just you know scrappy so we're gonna go ahead and kind of listen to this because y'all remember at one point in time baby said she you know that erica was the bitter baby mama and everything else you guys remember that and don't get me wrong i like my girl bam but i still gotta tell the tea the way it is i can't sugarcoat just because I'm, i like somebody okay now let's go ahead and listen to this footage you guys so that we can kind of get a little refresher Sort of you were just in a person's DM that you used to date. I felt betrayed. And I understand why you started acting why, how you was acting. The text messages between Scrap and Diamond, they were different type of betrayal here. And I go to work and he's mad at me and I'm still confused as to why because I still have to make my money to take care of our daughter. Here I am. Pulling it together for my kids, trying to find us another space to live in. And his phone is just, just vibrating, it's going off. Everything's popping up on the screen, and it's text messages. And I'm sitting there oh. looking at my husband's phone, seeing him frolicking on <laughs> Millennium Tour. You know, what you're doing, or where you went, and you know, I miss you, it was good seeing you. And it's like, seeing you where, and when? You know, setting up link ups like after the shows they were like i'm in room 258 are you coming to my room why you been coming back if i'm so detached 10 years old and i'm like why you keep coming back and all this why are you still attempting to be with me if i'm so horrible why the same with you well i'm not why were you why, why were you trying to still be with me if i was so well, I, like, I, I was I, why you put a piece of in your i just in your my felt good didn't this is him and shay arguing right now mother get out yeah. the bitch finna go with his mama he got oh. 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 So basically, you guys, we were listening to Erica and Bambi and a little piece of Shay when I told y'all that that was Shay. And it's just to kind of give y'all a refresher before I end up going to the next piece of audio. I'm not quite sure if I'll play it, but I may play it just depending on my commentary and how we get into how deep we get into it. So anyway, you know, Shay, let's get on Shay Johnson. Okay, because Shay Johnson had a deep hate for Lil Scrappy for a long time. Okay, for the ones who know, you know, because not only did he play her for Erica Dixon, but he also proposed to Erica Dixon on the Love and Hip Hop reunion right in front of Shay Johnson's face. Girl, do y'all remember that? Could you imagine? girl could you imagine somebody that you love you know he got a girlfriend but you love him too and girl he proposing to her in front of your face on national <laughs> shay you better than me girl okay now 
after Shay put him on blast for her and him still messing around while he was in a relationship with Erica Dixon on the show, he still did that. And Erica, of course, accepted his proposal. Okay. Also, allegedly, Scrappy crossed Shay when Shay thought that her and Scrappy were going to be on the Love and Hip Hop show as a couple back then. Okay. Scrappy was basically saying, you know, and I'm going to say allegedly, but it's receipts. But, you know, Scrappy was basically like, hey, Shay, you know what I'm saying? We together, babe. You know, I feel some type of way towards you. They probably wasn't in a relationship, but he was like, basically, you know, Scrap was making it seem like he was gonna put her on the show and Shay thought that they was gonna be on the show as a couple her and Scrappy but instead Scrappy he pulled some strings to get Erica Dixon on Love and Hip Hop so that he wouldn't have to pay child support for Imani at the time okay and this all came out in the early years of Love and Hip Hop in 2012 okay plus y'all know Shay has been made a fool of um similar to how diamond is being made a fool of now in my opinion okay bam just took erica's place and diamond took shay's place you guys that's just my humble opinion about it. i'm not trying to be petty y'all for real for real but that's what it's all boiling down to it's like a repeat after repeat after repeat okay now what happened with scrappy and erica is you know he basically was cheating on her for years as well with numerous of women allegedly we all seen the show but i'm gonna say allegedly all right and erica dixon basically wasted her years like many of us have done okay well this one year two year it doesn't matter many of us have done it by hoping you know a man would change now since if this is not your story don't make it your story that's a good thing i'm proud of you okay but i think that the smartest thing that erica shay and diamond did is not marry little scrappy okay and it's still up in the air for diamond okay because she's been digmatized at this point okay i knew she was gone in the head when i seen her recording herself at scrappy's house okay child for all for all we know bam is still in and out of that man's bed but, you know, I'm really not understanding Scrappy's victim role play because he low-key is a dirty nigga, in my opinion. But, you know, like I said before, you can tell that it's getting to Diamond because Diamond, every time she steps foot in Scrappy's door or every time she's around Mama D, Diamond has to record. She got to put it on her Instagram. She got to show like, hey, I got a good relationship with Mama D. You didn't. I'm with him. Y'all got divorced. Baby, you can have a relationship with Mama D, Daddy D, and the three little bears, okay? It does not matter when that man's heart does not belong to you. You can have sex with him. You can cook for him. You can twirl and swirl on the pin. You can do whatever. But when his heart is not yours and his mind is not yours, sis, you can you doing all that in vain, okay? So, like I said before, y'all know I like Diamond diamond has already made a name for herself in this music industry even if it was back then you still got to put a little bit of respect on diamond's name because diamond was out here with crime mob and they had several okay several hits several albums okay and y'all know bam she trying to do her thing and she trying to get her music you know her rapping thing going and bam is really talented too okay but it's nothing wrong with starting from the ground up starting from scratch you just got through with your divorce and bam like hey i'm living life i'm looking good scrappy get his kids when he need to get his kids so i'm gonna live my life and do me there is nothing wrong with that. Hey, I'm not mad at Bambi. Girl, have you a good time. Celebrate yourself and all of that. But like I said before, y'all know Shay Johnson. She got her little squabble going on with her current baby daddy. And you know, Shay Johnson did have a little thing allegedly with her and Peter. Cynthia's ex had a little thing going. Y'all remember that was going around the celebrity streets? Not saying it was true that they was together allegedly. But girl, I did look on Google and seen them real cozy on several pictures. Okay. So that's just that with that, you guys. I'm not trying to I'm say allegedly again. We I'm not saying they was together, whatever. Baby, y'all just look cozy. That's all I'm saying. But the baby daddy that she got now, he is fine. But baby, according to Tasha K, baby, allegedly he got a lot of stuff going on. So anyway, you guys, let me know what y'all think about everything that's going on with this love and hip hop fiasco. Do y'all think that Scrappy is up here trying to play Mr. Oh, I miss the sensitivity. I miss the victim. I'm innocent. I'm just an innocent husband who really wanted to work on my family. Yada, 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 whoop de whoop. Okay. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your hearts pure and your souls divine. And your girl will see you in the next one, girl.